Welcome to True Finance, where your financial future begins with clarity and confidence. Ever wondered how a mere piece of paper can buy you anything you want? A delicious meal or a trendy gadget, perhaps? Well, picture this. You're stranded on a desert island with only a dollar bill. How does that paper hold value? We'll explore the ancient roots of money, its unexpected forms throughout history, and the pivotal roles it plays in our lives today. This is the untold story of how trust in a simple piece of paper makes it worth more than gold. By the end of this video, you'll not only know why a crumpled dollar bill holds value, but also understand how money has evolved from ancient barter systems to the digital transactions of today. We'll unravel the secrets behind why societies trust these colorful pieces of paper or digital numbers on a screen. So buckle up for a journey through time, where bananas were once the currency of choice, and discover the essential roles money plays in our lives, roles that go far beyond just buying stuff. Now, before we start, let's set the stage with a quick overview. Ever asked yourself, what's the deal with money? Well, it's not just paper. It's a trust agreement we all buy into. Think about it. You trade your time and skills for this paper because you trust others will accept it. Even a humble banana becomes a rock star when everyone agrees it's worth a dollar. Crazy, right? Introduction to money. Well, let's step back to a time when smartphones were non-existent and the hottest commodity was grain. Yes, you heard it right. Ancient societies, smart as they were, needed a way to trade without dragging their goods across town. Imagine lugging around a bag of grain every time you wanted something. Not exactly convenient, right? That's where the ingenious idea of a virtual ledger carved into stone tablets came in. Think of it as the OG spreadsheet, tracking who owed what without the heavy lifting. Now, imagine you're in ancient Mesopotamia, surrounded by towering temples storing grain. Workers didn't carry their hard-earned harvest everywhere. Instead, they'd deposit it in these grain banks. And here's the cool part. A stone tablet served as their transaction record. It was like having a divine accountant noting who owed how much grain without the need for a massive abacus. As society evolved, so did the concept of money. Precious metals like gold and silver stepped into the economic spotlight, adding a touch of bling to the trading game. But hold on a sec. How practical is it to barter with a chunk of gold? Not very. That's where the Lydians, those unsung heroes, entered the scene. They shrunk valuable metals into pocket-sized coins, turning cumbersome transactions into a pocket change affair. Now, let's fast forward to today. That crinkled dollar bill in your pocket? It's not just paper. It's a piece of this rich history. But how did we go from grain ledgers to trusting a slip of currency? It's a journey worth exploring because, my friend, the evolution of money is like a time-traveling blockbuster with unexpected plot twists and ingenious solutions. So, grab your metaphorical popcorn as we unfold the fascinating tale of how money went from tracking grain to shaping the global economy. Evolution of Currency uh, Now that we've peeked into the ancient ledgers of grain-based transactions, let's fasten our seatbelts for the next stop in our monetary time machine, the evolution of currency. So, we've seen how grain and stone tablets laid the groundwork. But what happens when societies yearn for something more practical than lugging around precious metals? Enter the evolution of currency, where coins became the pocket-friendly heroes of transactions. Picture yourself in the bustling markets of ancient Lydia around 700 BCE. Gold, the OG currency, was losing its luster, literally. Carrying around gold bars for your daily needs wasn't cutting it. Then, like a stroke of genius, the Lydians introduced coins. These little stamped pieces of precious metal changed the game, making it easier to trade without the heft of a gold bar. Imagine the convenience of swapping a coin for your morning brew instead of negotiating with a hunk of gold. Fast forward to the British Museum, and you'll find artifacts telling the tale of King Croesus of Lydia, circa the 6th century BCE. His coin, adorned with a lion and a bull, marked a turning point in currency evolution, the idea of turning valuable metals into standardized sizes and shapes, stamped with official seals, became the hallmark of trustworthy transactions. That coin wasn't just a piece of metal, it was a symbol of a new era where trade became more accessible to the masses. Let's zoom into the present. The coins in your pocket, with their intricate designs and varied denominations, 
echo the legacy of those ancient Lydians. Every coin is a testament to the brilliant idea of transforming valuable metals into easily tradable, recognizable tokens of value. It's a fascinating journey, how something as simple as a coin turned cumbersome trade into a swift, efficient exchange that we now take for granted. Now, let's tie this back to our initial curiosity. That crinkled dollar bill in your wallet? It's not just a piece of paper, it's a descendant of those ancient coins that revolutionized how we exchange goods and services. As we peel back the layers of history, it becomes clear that the evolution of currency isn't just about convenience. It's about transforming the very essence of trade, making it more accessible and efficient for everyone. So, as we continue our journey through the annals of monetary history, keep an eye out for those small, pocket-sized heroes that shape the way we trade. The roles of money. All right, let's dive into the intricate world of money and its secret superhero life. Those three roles that turn our everyday coins and bills into economic powerhouses. Ever wonder why that crumpled dollar bill can buy you a cup of coffee, a new gadget, or even a slice of pizza? Well, it's not just about its physical form. It's about the magical roles it plays in our economic tango. Money is not merely a bystander. It's the unsung hero with a triple threat, being a medium of exchange, a store of value, and a unit of account. So grab your favorite snack, settle in, and let's unravel the mystery behind these roles that make our wallets more than just leather pouches. Medium of exchange. Now, let's shine a spotlight on the first role, money as the ultimate medium of exchange. Picture this, you've got a surplus of chickens and your neighbor has an abundance of grains. In a barter world, you'd have to negotiate a direct trade. You're clucking poultry for their bountiful grains. But hold on, this is where money waltzes in. Instead of navigating the complexities of direct barter, money becomes the middleman. You trade your chicken for a universally accepted token, let's say a shiny coin, and then effortlessly swap that coin for the grain you crave. It's like a linguistic bridge, translating the diverse languages of goods into a common currency that everyone understands. Now, let's add a sprinkle of real-world flavor. Imagine you're a freelancer trading your graphic design skills for groceries. If your client doesn't need a flashy logo, you're left with a virtual masterpiece in an empty fridge. That's where money glides in, allowing you to convert your creative prowess into a universally accepted form that can be used to buy whatever your heart desires, whether it's artisanal bread or a Netflix subscription. In the grand economic orchestra, money as a medium of exchange isn't just about simplifying transactions. It's about liberating us from the limitations of barter and opening up a world of possibilities where we can trade our unique skills for anything under the sun. But let's not forget, for this to work seamlessly, everyone has to agree on the value of that coin or note. It's a shared language that connects us all in this grand marketplace. So, whether you're swapping chickens for coins or freelance services for groceries, the medium of exchange turns the intricate dance of trade into a smooth, harmonious waltz. If you like our video so far, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Store of value. Now, let's shift our gaze to the second role, money as a store of value. Imagine if, instead of getting your paycheck in dollars, you were paid in something perishable, like bananas. Sure, it's all fun and smoothies today, but what about saving up for that dream vacation or the latest tech gadget? Bananas, sadly, don't have the magical ability to hold their value over time. Here's where money shows its superpower. It's the ultimate time traveler in your wallet. Whether it's a crumpled bill or a shiny coin, money has this fantastic ability to preserve its value. It's like having a reliable time capsule that ensures your hard-earned cash retains its purchasing power when you decide to treat yourself down the line. Now, let's sprinkle some real-world scenarios on this economic fairy tale. Consider saving up for a down payment on a house. If your savings were in the form of rapidly depreciating assets like, say, a collection of rare tropical fish, your dream home might swim away faster than you can say, aquarium. Money, as a store of value, provides stability in an ever-changing world. It allows you to set financial goals, save for the future, and watch your purchasing power stand the test of time. So that crumpled dollar bill isn't just a piece of paper, it's a reliable guardian, ensuring your financial dreams don't crumble along with it. But let's not overlook the real magic here, trust. 
you trust that the value your money holds today will be there tomorrow. Whether it's tucked under your mattress or chilling in a digital bank account, money's role as a store of value is a testament to the reliability and trust we place in these small, tangible representations of our financial endeavors. So, as we appreciate that dollar bills crinkles, let's also tip our hats to its silent role as a keeper of our financial past, present, and future. Unit of account. Now, let's turn our attention to the third role, money as the unit of account. Imagine navigating a supermarket with a shopping list, but no prices. Sounds like a recipe for chaos, right? This is where money steps in as the superhero unit of account. It's the common language that assigns a universal value to every item on those shelves. Instead of needing a PhD in pricing to shop, you simply need to know the price in your currency. It's the reason you can glance at a product and know it's worth in dollars without complex mental gymnastics. Let's paint a real world picture. Think about running a small business. If your products were priced in various barter goods or random commodities, imagine the headache of figuring out how many chickens equal a laptop or how much coffee is equivalent to a desk chair. Chaos, right? Money as a unit of account simplifies the intricacies of commerce, providing a standardized measure that allows businesses to set prices, track profits, and navigate the labyrinth of economic transactions. But there's more to this than just convenience. In a world without money as a unit of account, imagine the complexity of international trade. You'd need a global pricing encyclopedia to compare the value of goods and services across diverse currencies. Thanks to money's role as a unit of account, we have a universal language for economic transactions. So, whether you're shopping for locally sourced produce or importing exotic spices from across the globe, money ensures a seamless conversation between prices and values. Yet, let's not forget the secret sauce here, consensus. The value assigned to a product in money is not arbitrary. It's a collective agreement, a societal nod that says, yes, a smartphone is worth X dollars, and we all agree. Money as a unit of account in this sense is a testament to the shared understanding and agreement that underpins our economic interactions. So as we scan those price tags, let's appreciate the invisible language that turns a shelf of products into a harmonious symphony of economic values. These three roles are interconnected. They don't exist in isolation. If something isn't widely accepted as a medium of exchange, its future value becomes uncertain. And if there's doubt about its acceptance tomorrow, it's a shaky store of value. Similarly, a currency gains significance as a unit of account when it's universally used for transactions. So, in the grand dance of economic functionality, these roles work hand in hand, creating a seamless experience for us all. As we wrap up our journey through the multifaceted world of money, it's clear that its value extends far beyond its physical or digital form. Money is not merely a means of exchange. It's a guardian of time, a preserver of wealth, and a universal language that unites us in economic transactions. Whether it's facilitating seamless exchanges in the marketplace, safeguarding our financial aspirations for the future, or providing a standardized unit for valuation, money's roles interweave to shape the very fabric of our economic reality. So, the next time you reach for your wallet, remember that you're not just holding currency. You're wielding a versatile tool that transcends the boundaries of time, preserving value, and simplifying the complexities of trade. Now, if you found this video informative, please hit the like button and subscribe for more financial insights. Stay tuned and let's unlock the secrets to getting rich together. As we close today's journey through the landscape of financial wisdom, we extend our heartfelt thanks to you, our dedicated viewers, for joining us. Please like and subscribe so that we may continue to bring you the best financial education.